uh, Momotaro and his friends have is actually kibidango, which is a dumpling made from a mixture of rice and millet flowers. You might know rice dumplings that are on skewers and drizzled with various sauces. Millet is yellowish in color, so let's fix this photo so people won't confuse it with mochi. First dog, then bird, and now monkey. There we go. Mochi is a rice cake made of mochikome or sweet rice, a short grain glutinous rice. Glutinous meaning sticky or having the quality of glue, not glutinous meaning containing gluten. Many people are happy to find out that mochi is gluten free. Koda Farms, who you may recognize by their flower symbol, has a wonderful explanation on the website defining the two types of Japanese grain. The Japanese style medium grain rice are two to three times longer than their width white and translucent in appearance. It is what we would use for everyday table rice as well as for sushi. The Japanese short grain sweet rice are plump and short in length and chalky white and opaque in appearance. Mochiko or mochi flour is used to make treats like butter mochi. If you'd like to read the details, go to kodafarms.com. As pounded mochi is compact and also higher in calories per grain, I have heard one small piece of mochi is equivalent to a small bowl of rice. This is where the pun Chikara Mochi comes from. There's even a yokai game card with a character called Chikara Mochi. Calories are energy, and back in the old days where food was scarce, it was similar to what we might call a superfood today, and therefore was more sacred. Mochi takes a long time to make, even with modern machines, and they have really cute ones too. Sweet rice needs to be washed many times more than regular rice because of the high starch content. The grain is soaked for 8 to 12 hours, steams for about 30 minutes, then pounding takes another 12 minutes or so. Traditional pounding takes much more effort, but it's actually faster. The time I'm told varies depending on the rice amount and how soft it is. Our Utsuki pros say they take 2 to 3 minutes for kneading and two to three for pounding, or four to five for really smooth mochi. Still, that beats pounding by a machine. Now that's teamwork. Oh, mochi's ready. Please do not try this at home. Bachan of Bachan's Mochi has been handling mochi for almost 50 years. Even some of our most veteran mochi handlers sometimes burn themselves. Gloves do not take away any of the heat. Quick tip. Fresh mochi needs to be eaten or frozen by the end of the day. Leaving them out or refrigerating them makes them dry and hard. Refrigerate stickers you may see on fresh mochi is due to health department regulations. Since we couldn't do our demo in person, we wanted to show you how it's cut. Hot mochi shapes itself into perfect rounds. Let gravity do the work. Notice how the cutters keep turning the mochi. This is so we cut only the parts that are already smooth, cooler, and dry so it doesn't stick as much. The side we cut starts to tuck under, and by the time it comes back around, it's smooth again. To cut the mochi, we use our thumb and first two fingers to squeeze it, then pop it off with all five on the other hand. This gives a clean cut. So all that's left is put the cut end on the bottom and press with your palm or give a tap if needed. Now that the mochi's done, let's see all the amazing ways we can eat it. Mochi with seaweed dipped in some sweet soy sauce. Sweet mango mochi and kinago we toss. Brown and an open fire has the kids play. These are a few of my favorite ways. Cream in the middle with strawberry filling. Powdered with matcha, mango ice chilling. Sprinkled with sesame fried to a crisp. Mawari mochi, you just can't miss. When the bells ring, when the bowls sing, when it's New Year's Day. Oseki ozoni kagami mochi and then I can start my day. As mentioned before, mochi is higher in calories. Higher calories equals higher energy, and that's energy for life. Therefore, it was cherished, respected, and sacred. It took a community to harvest rice, and even though machines are available today, 
a rice planting festival where seedlings are transplanted into the shrine's paddy, is held in June at the Fushimi Inari Shrine in Kyoto, Japan. This is an event hoping and praying for a good harvest each year. We are taught every drop of water, every grain of rice is a blessing from Kami. Do not waste them. In that food becomes medicine or poison depending on your heart. In a year where starvation and hunger is plaguing the rest of the world, please remember to appreciate and care for all precious food by not overeating or wasting. Have a wonderful year of 2021. If you are interested, continue watching for instructions on how to make kinako bites at home from mochigome without a mochi maker or rice cooker. Hi. 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 Did you just bite into an okagami mochi? Yes, you did. Please. More, please. Mochi. More, please. Okay, it's my hand. She actually really eats it. What's your actual look at the bite at? She actually tore some of it off with her teeth. Uh, no, she, there's a bite mark though. But. I think she got a piece. She got a piece. <laughs> <laughs>